So they actually did uh, respond on Twitter. Who? Dragon Shield. No f***ing way. Yeah, but they haven't responded since. All they sent was the eye emoji, and then they stopped responding. Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome back to the test table with myself, Carl. Wow, it's him. It's me. Wow. And that's you. It's Misa? That's Yusa. Wow. Yusa in big doo-doo this time, Connor. Oh, oh boy. Because I found these. I ordered them like three weeks ago, and I finally found them. You want to know where I found them? I found them in the back of the toilet tank. You know the thing on top of the toilet that the water comes from? They were in there in a baggie. Any idea how they got in there? Anyway, today we've got the Battle Spirits Saga trading card game. This is from 2023. Wow. Now, I was kind of duped on eBay. Not really, because I got all of these for 30 bucks, which is actually a great deal. But I thought that this was the old game. I yeah. didn't realize that this yeah. was the new game. Yeah. So we've got the new Battle Spirit Saga trading card game from 2023. We have all six of the starter decks. Um, and That's I, a lot. That is a lot. And I will actually go ahead and let you pick uh, which starter deck you want to use today. And then we'll, uh, I'll pick a starter deck. And then we'll pick our uh, sleeve colors. And then we will open them up on camera and do our normal thing. So why don't you go ahead and pick uh, the starter deck that you want to use today. I've got Birdman, Dragon Guy, Skeleton Dude, uh, Skeletor. The Warrior Returning Alive, he Pegasus from Hercules, and uh, I, this is a Gundam, I think. I like Hercules. You like Hercules? I've always liked that movie. All right, so he's going to take the, what is that actually called? Uh, Forbidden Magic. Forbidden Magic. I think I am going to poop take... spells. Yeah, poop spells. <laughs> Uh, I am a fan of machines, of mechs, but I also like Dark Souls, but honestly, I've always been a dragon kind of guy. Yeah, you are. So I'm going to take the uh, Dragon Onslaught starter deck. Okay. And the other ones, I guess, we'll just put away into our collection. Maybe we'll play them later. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so now we've got on the table six different boxes of Dragon Shield sleeves. Wow. And I think that I am once again going to use the uh, eucalyptus like I did last eucalyptus. week. Eucalyptus! Because these are some banging sleeves. And uh, there you go. Ow! You get the yellows. They're wet. Yeah, of course they're wet. They were in the toilet tank for some reason. Did you drop it in the toilet bowl? I didn't, no. In fact, I didn't even see the box that they came in. Anyway, uh, do we have a knife to, right here. to open? <laughs> do we have a knife to open these up yep. with today? Nobody's gonna be able to see that. It's just gonna look. <laughs> they still can't see it. It's too far away. There you go. Um, so why don't you go ahead and open up your brand new box of yellow dragon shoes? <laughs> don't actually cut the box. <laughs> be nice to the sponsor, not sponsor. Dragon Shield. Hey. I saw you respond on Twitter. I'm gonna overlay it right now on screen. Don't be a wuss. I sponsor us. I <laughs> cool. This yeah, you killed it. <laughs> Right, anyway, right through the fucking dragon heart. Right through the dragon heart. Did you ever watch that movie, Dragon Heart? You remember that movie? Vaguely. It was like on sci-fi, basically every day. All right, I got the first. I, I nicked the first sleeve. Did you actually? I did. Let me see it. <laughs> Very faintly. Oh yeah, I see a little nick right there. I pierced I, it. I doubt you can even see that on the camera, but he did pierce the dragon's heart. Um, I'm. There we go. Slain. So there's the uh, the the tape off of that. Does this just pop open now? How does this, how does this open? Why am I even that worried about trying to open it properly? Oh, there it goes. Um, but apparently this game is actually pretty good. So we're gonna crack this open here on camera. Have a look, see, bring it in closer. We're not gonna be able to see it. You can see. Oh, look, it's got all the little counters. There's my big dragon guy. Uh, sorry, they're not counters. These are cores and this one, this little red one, that is the soul core. Oh, that's kind of cool. Your soul gem. Careful, don't my, lose my, that. My soul. That's your soul. <laughs> no. Don't lose that. Here's all the little cores. And uh, there's the starter deck. This is a lot. These are actually kind of cool. These are cool. This is a lot of cards. I, I thought know. it was 32. I don't know if I have enough eucalyptus to uh, actually sleeve this. Oh, it's 50. Oh, it's 50? I 32 was something else. Well, you're gonna have enough yellows. Uh, I hope I have enough eucalyptus. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at the play mat before oh, we cool. was... before we pop the, uh, the deck open. Wow, the play mat is smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, also look, it's got the steps written out on the, the mat. Thank God. Which is really nice, actually. <clears throat> 
I don't really know what the point of the soul core is yet. I'll figure it out. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. So give me give me my deck. Hey, where'd the knife go? I've got to <sighs> I've got to open this. <sighs> I know that it's got a little pull tab, but like we got a knife. What's the point of using a pull tab when you've got a knife? And I'm in. Come on, use the knife. <laughs> Should really do that closer, otherwise the joke doesn't work. Okay, so there's the deck, and uh, we'll just... Oh, whoa, hey, look! I got two of my uh, big boss guys. I got two of the shiny dragons. And some more dragons. Ooh, is that a dinosaur? I think that's a dinosaur. Ooh, I... It was a dinosaur. Isn't this a f***ing PlayStation character? Yes, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Make sure they can see that. They can. All right. Yeah, I think I've got enough sleeves to make it work. So, uh, all right, well, I guess we'll sleep. This is up. from a video game, I swear. It probably is. It might be based off of something like that. Dude, I got a freaking koala. Yeah? Karara? Eucalyptus! <laughs> you want to, uh... Hold on. Yeah. Let me enjoy this. Yeah, but, like, I thought we were trying to do this fast. I know, but let me do... I got another... Hey, you do this every time. You're like, we gotta hurry, and then you're like, hmm... Let me just leaf through every card and read them. I, d I wasn't right reading now. them, I was just looking at the cool just gonna, picture. I'm just gonna keep leafing through them very You think slowly. I can read? Probably not. Yeah. Okay. Ready to start sleeving? Yeah. 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 All right. Let's get sleeving. <sighs> so so hot in here. <laughs> Why is it so hot in your house? Turn on the air conditioner. There's no point to have air conditioning. We wouldn't be hot if you had the <laughs> air conditioning on. Okay. All right, we're back. We're back. I had a moment. Honor had a cranky moment. I had a very cranky moment. Very cranky moment. I'm anyway, tired. let's talk about <laughs> Battle Spirits sagas. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> From 2023. So this entire game revolves around these little bitty thingies uh, called cores. Uh, so this one is the soul core. It's special because it's red. The other ones are not <laughs> special because they're blue. It literally doesn't matter. I mean, there are some card effects in the game that's like, oh, if you have a soul core on it, it gets to do different things. Um, but really, the cores like don't. The cores really don't matter all that much. They're just kind of like they're mana, but they also let you like charge your creatures. Yeah. Uh, and we'll talk about that when we get there. Cores stay outside of the game, get the f uh, out except of for your life. Your life starts out at one, two, three, four, five cores. Uh, and when you start the game, you will start with the soul core in your reserve, plus three of the blue cores. Uh, but enough about that, we'll talk about that when we get to the game. Yeah. There are three different card types in this game. There are spirits, which are your creatures. Bam. There are magics, which Bam. are your spell cards. You play them on your turn and they go away. Yes. And then there are nexuses, which are like your field spells in um, Yu-Gi-Oh, or like your stadiums in Pokemon, or like enchantments and magic. They just stay on the field and do their thing. Yeah. Now, oh, and then we have a uh, special spells with Burst ability. Burst, yes. So yeah. burst is essentially like a trap effect. So in order to use the burst card, you will have to take this, put it face down into your burst area, and then when you're ready, uh, on your opponent's turn or when you're attacking, you can use that burst effect. You just have to meet the timing criteria that's actually listed down here on the card. Yes, and do read cards. Unlike yes, me. read the cards. I don't um, read. So let's talk about the creatures. Uh, this one is a one cost to play. It's a dragon. It is a dragon. <laughs> it is it is Rain Needle. He's a one cost to play, but you might notice that he has one little red dot here. Now you might think that that means now, I need a red mana to play him. Now Carl, what exactly does it do really? So it doesn't really do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need one red mana to play him. Actually, what I can do is let's say I have my star altar already on the field. Since it's got the red symbol down here in the bottom, I can reduce the cost of my rain needle by the amount Checks of out. red symbols up here mm -hmm. on that little square. So yes. I can essentially play him for free. When you play a creature, you have to move a uh, core from your reserve onto that creature. Otherwise, you cannot play that creature. You also have to move res cores from your reserve to your trash core. Yes. Uh, to, to play that play creature. that character. I was so, going to talk about that when I got to the stall altar. Oh, okay. Um, so when you play the Rain Needle uh, for as a creature, you move a core from your reserve onto him. Yes. Now he is level one because he has one core on him. He starts here at his level one effect. He is a 1,000 attack when he is level one. 
Now let's say on my turn I wanted to move a second core onto him, which I can do at any point in time. I could place that core onto him, and then he would become a 3,000 attacker. The magic cards, you play them literally just like spells in Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic. You will play them for their cost, uh, which this one would normally be four, but again, if I had like two red cards on the field, I could technically play it for two. Um, now let's talk about the, star, uh, the Nexus, uh, the field spells. This one is Star Altar. So in order to play this Nexus, uh, you can see that it also has a level just like the, uh, the that one says zero, just like the creature does. But because it has zero, I don't have to put a nexus or a core onto it as soon as I play it. I can just play it for its cost, which would be three. So let's say okay. I had nothing else on my field and nothing in my hand, and it was my first turn of the game. So I'd have my soul core and then my three uh, regular cores, and Bam. I wanted to play my star altar. So to play this, I would just put it onto my field. I would move three of my cores from my reserve into my core trash and then it would be on the field, and it would be there until it gets removed or until something happens. Uh, at the start <laughs> of your... something happens? I don't know. <laughs> so uh, those are the card types, and that's kind of how you play the game. Yeah. We'll get into that more when we actually start playing. Uh, are you ready? I'm ready. All so right. Do, 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 do it. Do it. Let's do it. So I've got my four uh, cores down here in my reserve. Let's shuffle our decks real quick since we were looking at everything. Oh, my. And then we can get started. So, in order to start the game, you're going to take the top four cards of your deck, and that is your opening hand. It's weird that it's four. That's a very small hand size. Uh, now we get to roll a dice to see who goes first. The so, boulder. Oh, you dented the mat. So you got an eight. I got you dented the mat. a 13. I did dent the mat. Um, so I think I'm actually going to go second. <laughs> yeah, because... Honestly, going second is a lot better in this game because the first yeah. player, the first turn player does not get to add a core to their reserve from outside the game, and the first turn player also does not get to draw. So, Connor, go ahead and start your turn. Uh, whatever you want to do. Also, did you like that in uh, the last video? What? When, uh, did you not watch it? No, I watched it. What are you talking about? When I gaslit you into letting me go first oh. with the control deck. <laughs> I kicked myself in the ass when I saw Why that. Why would you let me go for a I don't control know. deck? I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what does this do? I don't know. I believe in you. You can do it. Oh, shit. I got this. I mean, I'll be honest with you right now, chat. Uh, I don't got this. He was kicking my ass off camera, but we'll see what happens on camera. Like always, I kick his ass off camera. It's like <laughs> once in every five games. I would say one every three. No, it's not it's, really it's that It's that often, off camera. Well, that's also because that's like the first game we're doing, so I'm not really in the zone. I'm just, mm -hmm. you know, learning how to play. And you're like, hey, let's play again. Yeah, and then when I'm ready to play, <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is it. All right, so go can ahead. I, can I play? Yes, yeah, someone. All right. Okay, so. I'm going to play uh, Arcana Prince Obero. All right, so make sure you explain what you're doing. Uh, basically, I am playing my spirit card, so yes. I have to pay two yep. because of his cost, mm -hmm. and then I have to put one onto him. Absolutely correct. And I can't attack. No, you cannot. God, going first sucks. It's very bad. My turn? Yeah. All right, so I start my turn by drawing a card. All right. I go to my start step, and then I go to my core step. Oh, I should have gone to my core step first in my draw step. So I'll take a core from outside the game, put it down here in my reserve. I think that should be an automatic win if we're playing tournament rules. I think you're right, but thank God we're not playing tournament rules. Yeah. All right, so I will go ahead and for uh, one, I will play Rain Needle, and then I will put a core from my reserve onto him. Good for you. Now I get to play my uh, Dragon Trooper for one. Since I have one red symbol on the field, he costs two. I can reduce his cost by up to two. Uh, so he's a one to cost now, so I'll move one core uh, to my core trash and then add a uh, mana onto him. And then I think I'll go ahead and move my soul core onto my rain needle to make him a 3,000. Okay. Uh, and then I will attack with my dragon trooper at your life. There is no really like attacking oh. individual creatures. It's just I attack his life, he attacks my life. All right. So it's uh, your turn after that. My turn. Okay. First, I go to my core step. Yes, you add a core. All right. Good job. And then I go to my draw step. That's right. Then I go to my refresh step. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> also, in order to block, you can block in this game, which is really nice. It's not just like any creature, or only certain creatures have blocker. 
You can basically just tap any of your creatures to turn them into a blocker. So that's really nice. But it goes with Magic the Gathering rules where if they're tapped, they can't block. Well, yeah, because it's already, yeah. Yeah, expended. Because yeah. it's already expended. Right, not not tapped. Not tapped, expended. Can't, expended. Expended. All right. All right. What you got for me? I am going to play a burst face down. Okay. I played my expired driver's license face down and passed sure my turn. I that Yugi doesn't know that that's just my expired driver's license. All right, let's see. Uh, ooh, ooh, I can actually do a thing now. You can. Do, this game is really fast paced. All also. right, I'm going to pay two. When people complain about Yu-Gi-Oh. This game is like. You play my Spirit Tower. Spirit Tower. Spirit is it actually tower? called Spirit Tower? It's called Spirit Tower. Let's go. Or Spiritual Tower. Oh. Oh. No, I can't. it's it's that's. I'm pretty sure that's Spiral. Sp that's Spiral. I can't read. <laughs> Um, but anyway. Wait, so it's a two. It's a two. Did you pay two? I did. Okay. Yeah, because you haven't played anything. And so, game. when placed, uh -huh. you may summon a spirit card from my hand that costs two without paying. All right, I'm just going to read that real quick. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. I'll play that. Yep. Bam. 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 What you got for me? All right. Uh, you going to attack? What's this one? I'll read it later. Yeah, let's read that later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, you're what? You have a thousand? Uh, no, he's a three thousand. Because he got two. Fudge. He got two on him. Uh, what does this do? Well, I guess if you like it and then attack, I'm not gonna block. I guess I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so burst cards can be activated basically when you attack. So when you attack, there's a secondary step. So I attack, and then there's like a uh, quick response step. I forget what the actual name of the step is. Um, but basically, it's like, I let's say, well, we'll just talk about it when you attack. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If you're going to attack. I'm not. You're not going to attack? Uh. You're just going to attack on a different turn? Yeah, I think I'll attack. I'm just going to attack on a different turn. Ah. Then the five seas have aligned, and the winds waft the smell of victory over the lands of Jake Laurie. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got to do this right. Start step. Start step. Core step. S cores. Draw, draw step. Refresh step. Wow, look at his, he looks so refreshed. He is very refreshed. <laughs> All right, so now I can play some guys. All right, honestly, I think this might be a good play. Uh, well, hang on, can I make this better? <laughs> uh, wait a sec, did I, did I charge a core? Yes. I did? Okay, yes. just checking. Yep. Just want to make sure that I charge core. Um, All right, I'll just pay two. Sorry, no, I can pay one. I summon, Wait, yeah, I can pay one. I, I summon ten. Exodia. I pay one to play Quicksand Dragon. And then I'll put a, a core on him. And now I get to move my cores around, but I don't think I want to do that. Uh, so I will just swing in for one again. Well, I guess I could add another core to one of my guys if I really wanted to. Do you? Um, nah, I want to keep uh, that in reserve. I'm going to take that one. You're going to take it? Yep. Okay. All right. And then I will pass. Okay. First. Uh, I got to move my guy so I can I remember the steps. Start step. Yeah. Core step. Uh -huh. Draw step. Yeah. Refresh. Refresh. Mm -hmm. See, it's a weird, like, it's a weird strategy game because, like, you want to attack with your whole board and just, like, get the game over with. But also, you can't do that because if you do, then your opponent can most likely just get you on the crackback. Um, Ooh. I don't, I don't know which one to do. Ooh. All right, what? Just, just do your thing. Uh, I'm trying to do my thing, but I'm trying to figure out which thing I need to do. Actually, I should have attacked all out last turn. You really should have. Yeah. All right, all right. Get this steez. I'm ready. All right, show me what you got, butter lips. <clears throat> First, I'm going to play uh, Grimmore Fairy. Okay. So it's cost two. Cost two. And you got to put a core on it. And I have to put a core. Yes. All right. But. Uh, when summoned, view the top four cards of my deck, reveal one magic card, and put it into my hand. All right. And the rest on the bottom of my deck. Okay. So you just get to look at them, I right? get to look And then at you them. reveal one. And I reveal a magic card. All right. Well, I hope you don't get any magic cards. I don't think he got any magic cards. No, I got a magic card. I just got a really good card in here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would have been well. next. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with this guy. And the rest go on the bottom of my deck. Yeah. I'm gonna do a thing. Gonna attack me now? I can't do a thing. <laughs> you you can actually. Sort of. I'm just gonna swing for two thousand. <laughs> sure, I'll just let that go through. I'll okay, because that's the only one I'm swinging. That's it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's like this weird like combination of like you want to wait, 
Hold on, it's start step. Start step. Core step. Core step. Core step, draw step. Now it's my refresh step. Mm -hmm. And then I move all my cores back over here. And, okay, let's see. Can I move cores from my guys back to my reserve? No. Are you sure? <laughs> I didn't remember seeing anything about that. Don't Once remember. they're destroyed, they go back to your reserve. I don't remember if we can or if we cannot. Uh, well, I guess the I'll... The comments will let us know. Yeah, I'm sure they will. They, um... they definitely will. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that makes <laughs> like sense. Like all the games we play. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks for correcting us. I'll play my Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus? Yeah, it's a para Parasaurolophus. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to put a core from my reserve on it. I'm going to put a core from my rain needle onto it. Can you do that? Yes. Because you just have to put a core onto it when it enters the battlefield. And you can move cores from anywhere. All right. I think. <laughs> I think. I'm going to use my last two from my reserve to play my charged draw. All it does is just let me draw two cards. Uno. Dos. Um... All right, well, how big are your guys right now? Uh, thousand, two thousand, nothing. Okay, so just thousands. Yes. Okay, so I will swing a thousand. Wait, no, I'll leave him up as my blocker. He's just a little dirtly guy. He's just a little dirtle. I'll swing 2k, 2k, and 3k, because he gets plus 2,000 when he attacks. Okay. So you kind of have to block or you lose. All right. Well, okay, well, let's do it in order then. Uh, he has to be blocked. Okay. Okay, so let's swing here. So you've got to block him. Um, in response. Okay, so now when we're in an attack step, there's a different step between the attack and the block. So go ahead and do your thing. I'm going to pay one, okay. play Drowsy Fumes. All right, what does that do? I, it is a main or a flash card. Okay. Flash meaning I can play it any time. Yeah. Um, select one of my opponent's uh, spirits and reduce their battle points by 2,000 during their turn. Okay. So you flash it in. And I block him. All right, so my guy just dies. Yes. All right, he's tapped, though. Does he tap during blocking? I thought he did. Yeah, he taps. Oh, I didn't know. And he taps during blocking. OK. All right, then I will attack for 3,000. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to block it. <laughs> Otherwise, you lose. <laughs> so are you... uh, I will block. OK. He gone. Yep. Um, so then I will swing. Do I want to swing again? You just want to swing out? No. That's Why? stupid. You have four health. Yeah. How, How many get... cards do you have in hand? One. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but if you draw that second creature, then it's not looking good for us because you're going to have how many cores on your next turn? Three, four, five, six. six. Yeah, I'm not risking that. I'll swing out with my little guy and get you for... Wait. That's going to give you another core. Yeah, fuck it. Swing out with my little guy. Take it. Yay! All right. All right. Uh, oh, I'm going to set. All right, it's your turn. Okay. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I can think. I, can I go? I guess you can, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa you whoa, did whoa, that whoa. out of order. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> All right, first start step. Yep. Core step. Yep. Draw step. Yep. Refresh step. Mm-hmm. God, you're so refreshed. That's right. All right, and bam. Okay, you've got a lot of... You've got a lot of spirits cores in your reserve. Okay. Hey. Hey. You've got two cards in hand. I do. I like this situation. I'm gonna pay two. Okay. To play another. All right. Looking at the top four cards. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing here. I really hope you don't get. Damn it! Any <laughs> yes. <laughs> no spells. Okay. Okay. I pay another two. Are you doing it again? I'm gonna do that and moving a core from him to him. You cannot move it from him. He has to have one on him. You just you did that last turn. No, I moved it from this guy. He had two on him. <laughs> so you have to move one from your reserve. <laughs> All right, it's it's my um, turn. No. Or are you gonna attack? Okay, All I'm right. gonna swing two thousand. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and block here, and we'll trade if that's okay. You want to trade? I want to trade. Why? I gotta think. <laughs> Are you sure you want to trade? I'm positive I want to trade. Is that okay? All right, so we trade here. Now, I can activate my trap card, my burst Wait, card. You go over here. Oh, you go over there. No, no, it goes to the trash. F***. All right, now I can activate my burst card. It's my landmine. When my opponent destroys my spirit, I select one of my opponent's spirits with 3,000 or fewer uh, BP and then destroy it. 
So I think I will select, what does he do? He's just a vanilla. Yeah, they're, they're all vanilla -ish. They're all just vanillas. Yeah. I guess I'll just pop one of those. Well, how big do they get? They're all the same. Yeah, yeah I'll just pop one of those. All right. You're gonna hit me for two? I'm gonna hit you for 2,000. Okay, take it. All right. I'm gonna burst. Okay. And not pay its cost. Wait, what? Because it gives me the choice. Oh, okay. Select one of your yellow spirits and refresh it. Oh, okay, sure. All right, I refreshed. Yeah. God, I'm so refreshed. I'll just take two. Pass. Oh, that was smart. My turn? Yes, sir. All right, untraps. Wait. No. No, you Start little step. Bitch. Core step, core step, draw step, refresh step. Oh, yeah, baby. We are refreshed as fuck right now. Yep. I, think <laughs> I, I think I just win. Yeah, you probably do. Yeah, I think I do, because I can play uh, two more guys and then just swing in. But I really want to make sure that I play it right. Oh, right. I'll call you bluff. Oh, right. My... Because you've got nothing in hand, right? Nope. Nothing in hand, nothing in your burst zone. No, nope, I can't burst. Okay. Yeah, I think, I've, for months, I think I've just got this one. <laughs> Probably get that checked out. All right, so I'll pay uh, two core and then play my Galaxy and Drama Medios. Uh, he just goes on the field like that. <laughs> Uh, when I summon a Star Dragon Spirit card, count each symbol on this card as two symbols uh, when using the calculating reduction cost. So basically, he counts as two. Okay, so then I'll just play my Imperial Thunder Dragon uh, Sieg Worm. And there we go. Hit me, fan. Yeah, I think I just win here, right? Hit me, fan. Okay, so I'll swing in. Well, let's just go in order. Um, swing in with my little... Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy guy I'll for take a thousand. It. All right, take your take your one. Yes. Swing in with my little wimpy guy for uh, three thousand. I'll take it. Okay. I just win. All right. So. So now we're in game number two. Game number two. Let's go ahead and start the game now. Since Connor lost, I'm assuming that's how this works in this game. Do you want to go first or second? Yes. Two, three, four. I think you should honestly go first. Like genuinely, I think it's better in your deck because reduction. You have like more reductions than I do. So like I think it's actually better for you to go first. Are you sure? Yeah, seriously, because like you can. I, I hurt really bad last turn. You can set up like a lot more than I can. Cause like okay, I, I okay I but know. Then you just hit me. I know <laughs> in the last video I gaslit him, but this time I'm genuinely not gaslighting you. I actually think it's better for you to go first because you can just swarm the field. What did you just say? I said that I gaslit you in the last <laughs> video, but I'm not doing it this time. Do you want to go first or do you want to go second? I genuinely think you should go first. I cannot keep this hand. I cannot keep that either. We didn't mulligan properly again. It doesn't matter. No. I can cut all this. Okay, sure. I'm just going to keep it. All right. I'm going to scry. Okay, this is fine. All right. I'm going to keep it, and I uh, too shall scry. Okay. When we scry, we can put them on the bottom. No. Right? <laughs> they just go back on top. Dude, I already have two of these in just my hand. Just put them back. <laughs> I'm watching. No. I'm literally watching you. Also, I'm going to have to cut all of this. So just put it back on the top, and let's go. Are you going first or second? I'll go second. You're gonna get to draw it anyway. You know what? F you. I'll go first. All right. So Connor's going first in game no, number two. No. No. <laughs> what? No. I'm sick, dude. I'm, I'm actually being serious. It's whatever you want to do, but I actually think going first is better in your deck because even if I play like two guys on my second turn, you're already gonna have like three or four guys on the field. It makes me scared Screw to attack. You. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hmm. Yeah. He fell for it. <laughs> I wanted to go for second. Wee! All right, I'm gonna play my uh, Dargan Trooper. Dargan Bergen. Uh, he's got he's got some stuff, and then okay. I'll. What? You messed up. How did I mess up? Never mind. Yeah, he's a two, and I paid two yeah, and put uh, one on it. I didn't see that. Then I'll play my Dargan Trooper uh, for one and put that in the trash. Uh, actually, you know what? I think it's better to do that because then I can put the soul thingy on something important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, ha -cha -pa. Swing in for one. Take it. All right. It's your turn. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you don't whoa, draw whoa, yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 First. First core. is core step. Oh, first it's uh, start actually, step. Start step. Yeah. I started. You started. All right. All right. Core step. Yep. All right. Draw step. That's right. Oh, wow. Now you've got a full grip. How does it feel? 
good. Uh, refresh step. All right. All right. What you got, hot shot? Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a good one to edit. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, I have uh, a bit more time this week. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, what are you doing? Oh my God, dude. What? What's wrong? Dude. Mm. Dude. Dude. <laughs> All the same card. Yeah. Oh. That's that's unfortunate for you. Yeah. All right, are you gonna attack? I don't know. Well, you've got how many cores? I do you guess have? I have to. Well, you've got five cores, so like that's. that's I something. guess I pay three. Oh, you're paying three? Uh, I guess. Okay, for what? It's a nexus. Uh, reveal the top card of your deck when one of your spirits that costs three or fewer is destroyed. Okay. If it costs the same as the destroyed spirit, add it to your hand. If it doesn't, not discard it. That seems really good in your deck because everything's a f two. Uh, and then for two, mm -hmm. your yellow spirits cannot be blocked by any of your opponent's spirits with when the spirit blocks effect. Very nice. Yes. All right. Um, are you attacking? For how much? A thousand. Ein, ein thousand? Yep. Um, well, you have a burst, so I'm just going to let that go through. I'll take one. My turn? Are you... Uh... Yes. All right. I will start step. Oh. I've started. I will core step. Okay. I will uh, draw step. Yep. Then I will now refresh. you can refresh. That's right. Now I can refresh. All right. So how many cores do I have? I've got five cores. That's pretty good. Mm. I've got two guys on the field. Yeah, you do. Which is actually really good. Koala man, go. I'm gonna set that in my burst zone. Ooh. And then I'm going to play uh, for one my Dragron Captain, and I can play him for one because I can reduce his cost. Slap that there. No, slap that there. Uh, now I'll play. Oh my god. I think you're dead. Now yeah. I'll play my Moonbow Dragron. No, he's a Dragoon, sorry. I can play him for one because he's a four. So there's that. And then uh, one to my core. And that's four on board. And your guy is tapped. Wait, wait. I'm waiting. What does he do? Read it out for everybody. Draw a card when one of your spirits that cost <laughs> two is destroyed in battle. Yep. In battle. In battle. You've lost your arms. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, no, you can't. You... He can't block. He's tapped. Fuck. Yeah, I think you're just dead. Are you just dead? Yes. All right, I'll swing. One, two, three. I can't even pay their cost. Wow. That was exciting. What'd you think of Battle Spirits Sagas? I am not gonna from lie. From 2023. Fucking eight. Yeah, you know what? I think this game is actually pretty good. This um, is a great game, honestly. The only thing I really don't like about it is how stacked uh, the second turn player has it. Like, yeah, they have everything they going do for have them. Everything. They get to draw, they get to attack, and they get to move a thing into their reserve. Yep. That's ridiculous. There's that should not happen. Yes. Like, the first turn player should at least be able to like charge a reserve. Yeah, it really doesn't charge, make any sense. Do something, at least draw a card. Yeah. We also didn't see either of our box art cards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my box art card is pretty good because when he enters the battlefield, I just get to destroy one of your uh, creatures with 3,000 DP or less. I got Pegasus. And he got the Pegasus. Uh, what does your guy do again? <laughs> uh, my guy, he, uh, he um, during my attack step, uh, oh my, spirits that cost two gain 2,000. That's pretty good. So basically, that's all my deck. Uh, so you give this game a give it a. I give eight. it a good solid eight. I'd also give it an eight. Yeah. 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 Now, do we touch weenies or? <sighs> yeah. Because you have eleven and I should have twelve. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, six, was that one there? Seven, eight, nine. Did ten. you find that on there? Yeah, so, okay, so that was in my reserve. Yeah, I think I accidentally just knocked it with my hand. Oh, oh shit. I'd have played that turn differently. All right. Fuck. Okay, well, um, wait, how, wh where, where'd his core go? You moved it. No, I didn't move it off of him. I moved it off of him. <sighs> All right, I'm going to cut here. Okay. Yeah. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's right. Okay. Let's just do this. And nobody will know. <laughs> <laughs>